Hi, Tony here again, trainer and assessor with Premier MOT. I've just finished a full day MOT course and a couple of things keep coming up, all revolving around how bad things have to be before we can actually fail them on an MOT. One of the ones that keeps reoccurring is how insecure a battery actually needs to be before we can fail it. And what I'd like to do, I'd like to have a look at a couple of different scenarios with batteries in cars, one in a boat and one in under the bonnet, and then look to see what the government blog says about what we should do in these particular cases. Okay, now this is a, um, an extract directly from the MOT testers manual. Okay, now what we're looking at is the actual battery itself. Now the method of inspection, if we look there, it says check the condition and security of the battery how secure the battery actually is and the reason for rejection the reason why we can fail a battery is a battery is insecure or leaking electrolyte now to the average person is that insecure or are either of our batteries so insecure that it is going to actually fall out okay now let's have a look at this we've got an mx5 batteries in the boat now if we look at it it's actually clamped down but as you can see we can still move the battery quite easily and if we look at that now we compare it with another one which is in a Jaguar which is under the bonnet and if we look at this the battery now this time the battery is secure to a certain extent but the battery bracket is not secure at all now both are insecure both we would say is that excessively insecure is it likely to fall out from its presented situation what do we think okay this time let's see what the government's blog says the masses of testing for the MOT industry now if we look at this this was a, an extract from the 17th of January 2014 and it's titled, How Insecure Does a Battery Have to Be Before It Should Be Failed? Question is, how insecure should it be? The answer is, the battery must be so insecure such that it is unrestrained and likely to fall from its vertical position when the vehicle is in its presented condition. Okay, that is with the bonnets or access panels closed. A battery that is not strapped down and is moving around inside a battery box does not justify a failure as it cannot fall from the carrier. Now, if we now take that along to our cars and see what the situation is with those, will either actually fall from their present, presented state? The answer is no. So therefore, it is simply a pass and advise, and we cannot fail this particular item. However, if we now go back to the manual, look at section 1.9, electrical wiring and battery. The reason for the rejection for the battery being insecure or leaking electrolyte is still there. However, if we now look at the electrical wiring on point number two, it actually says insecure or inadequately supported so that it is likely to become damaged. Damaged or deteriorated to the extent that it is likely to cause a short circuit or become detached. Installation damaged or deteriorated to the extent that the bare wiring or connectors are exposed. Now, once you're actually looking at the battery, you need to make a decision. Is this likely to be a problem as well? If it is, if it is exposed, or it is likely to short circuit, therefore you have a reason for rejection. I hope that helps.